حضرت شیخ نجم الدین قمر علی رحمہ he was a great Sufi mystic of 13th century his karamat was Allah was a fame in Muslim world he had a unique personality he was known as Wali Tarash he was known as Wali Tarash why? because he would transmit a person to the level of sainthood it is all up to us I said earlier that how much we love our religion Awliya of Allah have achieved this status in this dunya by loving Rasulullah, by being steadfast on Sharia of Allah Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if you and I can do that, we will become a wali also. But before that, the way Awliya of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala have distanced them, their self from haram, we got to do that. They have distanced their self from non haram, we got to do that. We need to implement this on ourselves. We need to follow Quran, a hadith, and we need to love everyone for the pleasure of Allah and His Habib Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if we want to hate someone, that is also not on the accountability of your personal grudges. For my personal grudges, no. If you want to hate someone also, it has to be for the pleasure of Allah and pleasure of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, Hazrat Najmuddin Kubra was that wali who used to transmit a person to the level of sainthood. His shrine is in Turkmanistan. He had expertise in different Islamic scientists. In student life, he would debate who, with whomsoever willing to debate with him. He became famous with the title Sheikh al Kubra. He traveled to Iraq, Syria, Khurasan, Makkah al Mukarma, Madina al Munawwara for acquiring Islamic knowledge. Hazrat Sheikh Zayauddin. Ammar bin Yasser al-Tablasi Sahar Wardi was one of the teachers of Adrate Sheikh Najmuddin Umar al-Rahman 